All right, today we are playing Flux the board game. So check out the kids' review, um, uh, and they will explain all the pieces for you. So there is also Flux the card game. Um, so the rules are similar if you have played that one. If not, I'll show you how to play this one. Okay, so when you're setting up the card, you find the start, and it goes right in the middle. And then, you take these eight, and you shuffle them. You take the shuffled cards, and you put them around the start tile. Then you have the goal cards that will be placed here. You take one of these orange pegs and you put it in the three. If you'd like a longer game, put it in the four, five, six, but throughout the game you'll be able to move this up or down. The other thing you have is the uh, rules. So to start the game, you're going to put an orange peg in the far left hand side of each one. So draw one, play one, move two, hand limit, nothing. Rotate, no. Uproot, no. Wrap, no. Okay. So we'll come back to that. Once that's done, you give the color cards to each player. Now this is important because sometimes you switch hands and you switch colors. Sometimes you don't know what color you are unless you have this in front of you. So mom is going to start being blue and I have my three little people. Lily is going to start being red and she has her three. And Ryder is going to start by being green. And he's got his three markers. And we're going to put yellow aside. Next thing you do is you shuffle all the cards. Once you shuffle, you quickly go through and you find the first five pink cards that you can. So the pink ones are goals. One, Two, three, four, five. So pink cards, the goals, this is how you win the game. You need to have three, like over here, goal cards to win the game. Unless that moves up. This game is a game of ever-changing rules. The rules change every turn, multiple times a turn, so you have to be aware of what's going on up here. So the first goal that we will have is rocket science. So that means the first person to have a person on the rocket and the brain in the same turn would get to take this card and put it in front of them. That means they have that goal. Goals can be added throughout the game as there's more in this deck. So once you have shuffled the cards, you will deal three to each player. And then put the draw pile where everybody can reach it. Now, to start the game, each player gets to move one of these orange markers. They get to move it one spot. So I am going to move the draw to two. So now our rules would be draw two, play one, move two, 
hang limit nothing rotate no uproot no wrap no and the goal is still three so now Lily's going to choose which one she wants to change and I'll just move it for her move. so she's going to change the move to three Ryder uh, play play so now he's going to move play to two okay so now that everybody has their cards you're gonna pick them up oh yes I forgot all of your people start in the middle there you go. Now, very basic. Draw two. So I'm going to draw two cards. Now I get to play two and move three. I can do those five things in any order that I want. So I am going to... I'm actually going to use this action card here, which is discard and draw. I don't have anything good in my hand, so I'm actually going to discard this whole pile and draw five more cards. One, two, three, four, five. So that was one of my plays. So I still get one more play. Okay. So I am going to do... Draw three and play two of them. That's my next one. That's my next play. So I'm going to I put my hand down, draw three, and then play two. Okay, so I'm going to play this goal, which is Squishy Chocolate, and I'm also going to play Burst of Speed and then discard this one. So Burst of Speed means I get to add three moves for this turn only. Because I, have already, I was already given three moves, I get six moves. So remember, I'm trying to get here. So I'm going to, and you can only leave out the start through the arrows. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so I'm very close. You cannot move diagonally. So I'm very close to getting squishy chocolate. So the next thing I've played, I've moved hand limit. There is no hand limit, so I don't have to discard anything. So now it is Lily's turn. So she will draw two. Now she will play two and move three in whatever order she wants. Okay, so she played taxation, so we're each going to give her a card. Okay, she has chosen to shuffle everybody's hand. So she, we're gonna give her, everybody gives her the card, she's going to shuffle, shuffle and deal them out evenly, starting with herself. Now, for the action cards, we've already been through a few. We will not stop and explain any more of these. If you play it, do it, follow the instructions. They're very, very basic. So, nope. So the new rules, the yellow cards, go up here by the rule card. So it says move peg, shift the draw peg forward one notch. So now everybody will get to draw three, including Lily on this turn. So she'll get to draw one more. So now she's going to move, she's played two, now she's going to move three, she moved that peg two, and she's moving this peg, oh, she moved that peg three. Okay. All right, and now it's Ryder's turn. So he's going to draw three, and now in any order, he will play two and move three. Okay, so he played a leaper card, one of the green ones. So leapers, you get to move one of your pieces straight to that spot. So one of his green pieces will go straight there. And that does not count against your move number. Okay, 
So he has done both of his plays. Now he will move three. One, two, and he has one more move left if he'd like to use it. He can use whichever one he wants. He's gonna move that one. And now his turn's over. Okay, so now it's Mum's turn. So I'm going to draw three. I'm going to play two and move three. So, so far you've watched us play two and then move all three at the same time. I'm going to mix it up a little bit because you can do it this way. So I'm going to play one. Now I'm going to move two. Collect that. That is now mine. Now I'm going to move for my third. Now I get squishy chocolate as well. So I get to play one more card. But I have no more moves left. So I'm actually going to play wrap around. Wrap around over here. So I'll take this time to kind of explain what these ones are. Rotate. Simple as that. You move, you rotate your tile around. You can stop it wherever you'd like. Uproot, you actually get to pick it up, but you cannot rotate it and you would just move it wherever you want. So the board does change shape as well. Wrap means you can go around the board. So if green wanted to get to chocolate, that would be one move. Also, if there's a missing space like this, let's say green was here. If wrap around is on, he can jump over that empty space. So that's kind of the explanation there. Okay. Now it is Lily, Lily's turn. And we'll speed up play here until we find something else new that uh, we haven't talked about yet. Okay, so Lily has moved two. Uh, she still gets to move one, but she's gonna do something, um, something different, so go ahead, Lily. So she's moving to where green is. Now, if it is a picture square, you cannot be on the same square together. You can only be on the same square if it's one of the blank octagons. So she needs to kick out Ryder. She cannot move him there because she just came from there. So she has to move him either here or because wraparound is on, she could move him here And she cannot, because wraparound is on, move him here because blue is already there. So she has two options. One, two. So let's see which one she chooses. Okay, so there's two portals on the board. So if you go into the portal, I'm going to move one, two, three, you automatically go straight to the other one. Okay, so those are the portals. They just kind of help you move around. These portals are really close. You kind of hope that they end up further away from each other, but that's okay. Okay, so let's see here. Lily won the game. She got her three wins. And that's it. Flex the board game. 
is a lot quicker of a game than flex the card game can be. Flex cards, I've had games go for 45 minutes. This one's kind of more simple, but again, to make it last longer, you just have to move up the goal, the goal spaces. And that is flex the board game. Check out the kids review on YouTube and have fun and keep on playing.